Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally back with another Dollar Tree haul, and this one is going to be a big one. Um, I managed to find a lot of things that I had been looking for that I had seen a lot of the other uh, ladies haul. So I'm super excited just to jump in and show you what I was able to find. So to start, I'm going to go with some of the food items that I was able to pick up. So Dollar Tree typically carries the Vortman uh, cookie brand, but this is one that I hadn't seen there before, and this is the mango uh, flavor, so I wanted to give these a shot. My kids love all these, um, like the wafer style cookies, so I thought that was a fun new flavor to try. Then I also picked up these Queen Tea chocolates. Uh, so this one is coconut almonds with milk chocolate. So these ones are actually going to be uh, for my dad. He's a big fan of coconut and almonds, so I picked these up for him. And then I picked up one of the Swedish berries that are covered in milk chocolate, which I thought was an interesting combination. So I wanted to give these a try and let my kids try them as well. And these are both good until February of 2021. So you've got lots of time on those. Then I also picked up uh, two packages of the Marie Callender's cornbread muffin mix. My kids absolutely love muffins and I thought that this would be nice to have uh, with a dinner if you're doing like a chili or a soup or a stew. So you could have this to dip into the stew or to clean your bowl afterwards. So I did pick up two packages of those and these are also good until uh, April of next year. Then moving on to some household items, I picked up a couple packages of the pocket tissues. These were some new designs that they just put out. Um, in comparison to the other ones that they have, these are only a four pack, whereas the other ones are a six pack, but I just thought these designs were too cute not to pick up. So this one has a bunch of different sloths on it. And then this one says, Dream Smiles Rainbows Laughter. And it's pretty pink tie-dye. I find that these are great to have during the fall and winter when it's cold season, just to put these in coat pockets, in backpacks, in your car, and literally put them anywhere just so that you have them handy. Then I also picked up a container of the Crafter Square buttons. So I know other um, haulers have picked this up before, but I thought it would neat, uh, would be neat to have. Um, my mom typically fixes my kids' clothes for me, I'm not a big sewer, and the last time she was looking for a button to go with my daughter's dress, so I thought that this would be handy to have here, so when she comes to fix their clothes, I have buttons. Then I also picked up another magnetic notepad. This one says, stick to the plan and has the cacti on the bottom. I just thought it was really cheerful with the bright pink color and you do get uh, 60 sheets on these. Then I also picked up a package of the Sunbeam uh, AA batteries. Not very exciting but a really good deal especially if you um, are using them with like children's toys or things like that where you just need something that you can replace really quick and easy and not want to fork out the big bucks for the brand name batteries. These ones are pretty good. Then I also picked up one of their new little file folders. So this looks like a envelope and then it's got six pockets in there and this is about the size of like a card envelope that you would give to somebody. And I'm actually going to be using it to sort um, my thank you notes um, and my little greeting cards that I use when I'm supply teaching to leave for the teachers. I'm going to organize them in this so I can take this with me in my tote bag and have them handy and ready to go when I need them. Then I also picked up this pencil pouch. So a while back I did haul the fashion scarf with this pattern on it and I thought it was really sweet. So I thought this would be nice to also take in my tote bag that I use for supply teaching just to have some stickers and some pens and pencils in there in case I need them. Then I also picked up 
the crafters toolkit two packages of the sorry two piece of the mini cutters so these are just like tiny little exacto knives um, and I actually got these for opening birthday and Christmas presents in my previous hauls I have mentioned that I've got a lot of birthdays coming up and then we dive into Christmas and you always get some like really obnoxious packaging on children's toys so I thought this would be handy to have and you can slice into it and get their toys out for them real quick I also picked up two five by seven photo frames and I thought these were neat because they kind of look like driftwood and that's what they put in the picture in the frame but if you look at the wood grain it's got that driftwood kind of look to it so I did pick up two of those and then I picked up this little coin port <sighs> purse, coin purse that says no drama llama and I'm actually going to be putting this in the car and keeping things like the uh, Timmy's reward cards, the library card, um, my like gas rewards card, things that you only ever use when you're in your vehicle. So I wanted to have something to keep them organized and handy. Then I did pick up quite a few more of the uh, deco tape or the washi tape. So I'll just quickly show you them bunch of new patterns so there's dinosaurs cute little llamas or alpacas on the pink background happy little gummy bears this kind of old-fashioned one where it's got the old camera the traditional taxi and a scooter Space themed one and then this one that has unicorns and says magic and love so I'm gonna be adding those to my collection and then I did pick up a couple more magnets I normally get the Dollar Tree magnets that have like the witty sayings on them but I haven't been able to find any new ones recently so when I saw these little soft squishy ones I thought they were super cute and I wanted to add them to my collection as well. So I did get the ice cream cone and it feels like one of the like the slow rise squishy that the kids play with and the magnets built right into it. I also got the little ice cream with the fudge on it and then the cupcake with the pink icing then my Dollar Tree finally got in the gold baskets by essentials so I did pick up one of the round ones and one of the rectangular ones I'm actually going to be using these in my daughter's room so that they can put their little stuffed animals or hair accessories and things like that in them. Then, I don't know if I'm going to be giving these as gifts to uh, two of my kiddos or if I'm just going to be letting them use them um, in their next art project, but I found these by Crafter Square and I just thought that they were really nice. So it's a little paint set and it comes with uh, 12 different colors, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, 12 different colors and then one paintbrush. So these are just like the watercolors where you can dip your paintbrush in the water and then use it for each of the colors and then you just rinse it out in between. So I thought that was really cute and how it came in the little painter's palette that you can hold on to. I just thought that was a really nice touch that Crafter Square put out. So I did pick up two of those and then I also picked up one of the little cable protectors that everyone seems to be hauling lately. I actually saw these at my Dollar Tree quite a while ago, I'd say even almost a couple months, um, and didn't really give it a second glance, but when people were saying that it's actually beneficial to keep your cord straight, I thought I might as well give it a try. I mean, it can't really hurt your cord, and if it helps, why not? So he's just a little panda and you slide him over your power cord and kind of onto the bottom edge of your phone and it just keeps your cord from bending or at least that's what it's supposed to do. 
Then, I think I'll move on to my holiday themed items. I did pick up one thing for Halloween, which is the black and white striped pumpkin. I did mention in a previous haul that I was looking for these and all the ones that I had found previously had a damaged stem. So this one's in nice condition. So that's gonna go up on my TV cabinet when I change my display over from uh, just fall to Halloween. Then for Christmas, I picked up the little um, tiny silver star garland. So it's 20 feet and comes in a tiny container like this. And it's the itty bitty baby garland, which I'm actually gonna be putting on um, the white Christmas tree that I hauled in, I think it was my last video from Dollar Tree. So I thought the silver garland would be a nice accent on that. And then to go along with that little tree as well, I also got the LED lights in the star. And you get 10 lights in there. And I like the stars because they glow white, which I thought would look cute on the tree. Then I also picked up um, the Crafter Square laser tape and you get a green, a red, and a gold in here. And I just thought that that was so perfect for wrapping Christmas gifts, just to add a, another kind of layer of holiday cheer while you're wrapping the parcels. So I was happy to find that. And then I picked up the Christmas pickle ornament. When I was reading about it, I thought it was such a cute little idea, especially seeing as how I have kiddos. So I thought I would implement it this year. Uh, for those of you who don't know or haven't checked this out, what it says is that on Christmas morning, the first person to spot this pickle is rewarded with a special blessing for the coming year and the first present from under the Christmas tree. So I just thought that was a super cute idea and I thought my kids would get a kick out of finding the pickle. <laughs> then I did pick up two of the wood cutouts that you can paint and decorate as you please. So I did get the Christmas tree and the snowman. So these are the ones that come with the little stand so you can set them on a shelf. Um, I got these to go when I change my uh, TV stand kind of like shelfscape over from Halloween to my winter and Christmas theme. Then I also picked up uh, two of the chair covers and these are the happy birthday ones. As I mentioned uh, earlier in the video and in previous hauls, I have a uh, three of my kiddos' birthdays coming out, one on October 26th, one on November 1st, and one on November 5th. So I thought that these would be nice to kind of highlight whose birthday it is and they get to sit in a special chair. So that's what it looks like close up. So I got one with the boy themed colors. And then my eldest daughter has her birthday as well, so I got the girl themed colors as well. Then, to go along the lines of their birthdays, I did pick up a couple more items for that. Uh, for my three youngest, I found these really neat double-sided artboards. So on one side, it's a uh, dry erase board, and then on the other side, it's a chalkboard, and they are all licensed. So this one is Transformers. See, that's the whiteboard side, and it has Optimus Prime. And then if you flip it over, it has Bumblebee on the chalkboard side. And it does come with both a dry erase marker and eraser, and then a little box of chalk as well, which I thought was super cute and such a great deal for $1.25. I also found the Peppa Pig. So there's the chalkboard side and the whiteboard side. And then the last one was My Little Pony chalkboard and the whiteboard. My kids love drawing and doing little art things, so I thought that this would be nice for them to have. Then I also picked up these uh, emoji markers. You get eight markers in the set and they're decorated with all the different emojis on them. 
Uh, if you've been watching my hauls, you might remember that my son is having an emoji themed birthday. So I thought that these would be perfect to go with his gift. I did pick up some hair accessories for my girls. I'm not sure if they're going to be gifted to them sooner than uh, their birthdays or Christmas, but I wanted to pick them up before they were gone. So I found these really two sparkly uh, barrettes. So there's this pink one. And then there's also this black one. And they are glittery, but it doesn't have any fallout, or at least not any that I've noticed. So it's not much if there is. And it's just like the typical barrette clip on the back. Then I did pick up some headbands. So I got the little ones that have the bow that some of the other haulers have picked up. And it's nice because the bow actually has a wire in it, so you can kind of bend it to look however you please stick it up or keep it down. So I got the blue, the purple, and the pink. Then I found these cute new die cast cars. Uh, they were new to my Dollar Tree. Uh, they're called Vacation Play Sets, and there were three different ones that I was able to find. So this one is like your traditional like RV that's attached to a truck, and then it's pulling its trailer behind it. Then there's one that's more like a cube van, and it's pulling a speedboat. And then the last one is a pickup truck and it's pulling more of like your pop-up camper kind of thing. I just thought that was really cute and my kids love the cars when there's something that you can attach to the hitch and trail around. Then for my one uh, friend's gift for Christmas, I'm doing like a Mickey Mouse theme because she's obsessed with Mickey. So when I saw the sticker set, I thought it was perfect. You get four sheets in here, over 150 stickers, all sorts of different ones. You get the, the puffy, the glittery sparkle ones, your shiny foil, and your regular glossy. And there's even Mickey when he was in Fantasia, which is a really good movie when I was growing up. Then I also picked up one of the 2020 calendars. This is the Marvel Superhero Adventures. It looks like that at the front. And then you get all these amazing images for the calendar month. So I'm actually gonna be taking the calendar apart and using them as posters in my son's room. He absolutely loves uh, the superheroes, so I thought that would be nice to decorate his room with. Then for that same son's birthday, I did pick up two bags um, to use for his gifts. He's a big eater, he loves food, especially like pizza and hamburgers. So I saw this one that says supersize your party. And it's got that nice big burger and fries. So I thought he'd think that was cute. And then this one says, have a pizza cake. Like a piece of cake, but a pizza cake. So again, I thought he'd get a kick out of those. And they're nice, uh, good size, good thick quality. And then I did also pick up two more of their totes. I use these totes for my kids' stocking stuffers. Um, they don't have traditional stockings because I find they don't hold that much and we do a lot for their stockings, lots of little things. So I picked up this Star Wars one and this Spider-Man one. Then I did pick up some of the block tech blocks. Uh, my kids love Lego, but they don't care if it's licensed Lego or not. So I got them each a color, and then I also am looking to get them each a building base uh, to go with that color. So for example, for my eldest, I got this set of blue blocks. 
and then I found the blue base to go along with it. I am having trouble finding the base in a variety of colors, so I'm gonna keep looking for those. But I did get another package of the purple, the pink, and the green. And in each of these you get 30 pieces, so that's a pretty good deal for $1.25. And it's compatible with all the other brands, so you don't need to worry about that. And then to go along with those, I also picked up the Top Blocks stickers, which you can attach to the Lego blocks. So I got this one um, that's the police themed, and that's going to go with like the blue um, building blocks. Then I got this um, pink one, which is very girly. It's got like clothing and accessories, little unicorns. So I got that for my two girls to split with the pink and purple blocks. And then this one is like a military army themed. And I got that to go with the green blocks for my younger son. So I just thought that those were really cute. And for $1.25, that was a really neat way just to take Lego and kind of take it up a notch with adding the stickers to it. Then, I have been looking for these forever. My Dollar Tree seems to be slow on um, rolling over its squishies and the new ones that it gets in. Uh, we had the little, like the bald animals for the longest time, and then people were hauling food, which I was able, able to finally find, I think, in my last haul. And then this time around, I found this series. So this one had the rainbow with the happy smiley clouds, the little blue narwhal or unicorn of the sea, and the little happy llama. This set also did have a pink mermaid, but my youngest daughter was with me when we picked these up and she fell in love with that one, so she currently has it. Then I also found the little fingerlings, uh, little key tags. Um, I actually got these for my daughter to hook on her backpack. They love having things hanging off their bags. So I got her this white one with the pink hair. And it's cute because you can twirl the tail around because it's got the wire in it and set it up however you please. And then you can play with them just like the bigger fingerlings because they can hold on to your finger. Or you could even use it like as a pencil topper. And then I got the little purple one as well for her. Then I found these cute little uh, chocolate scented, um, and they almost look like truffles or little eclairs. And they come in a little plastic case like that. And what you do is when you take it out, you flip it inside out, and then it becomes like a little creature. They show you an example of this pure brown one turning into a little rooster or chicken. So I'm excited to see the little animals that are inside these and I just thought my kids would get a real kick out of them. So I also picked up this green one, this purple one, and this pink one. One for each of my kids. And then last, but definitely not least, I did finally find some of the kitchen play sets. I had seen these two at my Dollar Tree before um, and had debated picking them up, but there wasn't much to go along with it, so I didn't want to get them and then not have anything else for my kids to use with it. So I picked up this one that has the fry pan with the egg and sausages in it. And get the flipper and the knife as well and then this one kind of repeats with the knife and the flipper but you get more of like a cast iron looking skillet and you get the fried egg again but more of like the sausage patty instead of the sausage links like you get in the other one and the reason I finally picked these up is because I was able to find the cutting boards so these are new to my Dollar Tree and I think these are absolutely amazing. So the vegetables you can uh, cut apart and then they stick back together with Velcro. And this is like equivalent to something that Melissa and Doug would put out. Uh, Melissa and Doug would do it in 
um, the wood, but they would charge a heck of a lot more than $1.25 for it. And uh, I find with the Melissa and Doug and their items being wood, they become very big throwing hazards, at least in my house. So I thought the plastic was a little bit more of a safer bet when it comes to my kiddos. And the fact that you get the cutting board, two veggies, and the knife is such a great deal for $1.25. And it's so cute with its little heart on the handle and the pink board. So I did get this one. And then I got the fruit that has the apple and a pineapple. But as you can see there, it goes back together. It's got the Velcro. So you can put the apple back together and then pretend to cut it in half. And I just thought that these were so cute. And my girls and my boys are gonna have fun playing with these. All right, so that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you for watching to the end if you managed to stick with me. I was just super excited that I was able to find a lot of the things that had been on my wish list, and I was also excited that um, things came to my store that I didn't think would actually end up coming. So it was a really exciting couple trips that I made to a few of my local stores. And I hope that I have inspired you to go check out your stores and see what kind of neat things that you can find. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to be notified when I post a new video, make sure that you subscribe and click the little bell and that way you won't miss out. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you have a wonderful week.